Okay, so, uh, yeah, I have my headphones on because I was on the Shmule app, the singing app. I can't really find anything to sing because the songs and things are very limited. Um, and so I was singing uh, some secular songs because, to be honest with y'all, I need a break. This 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 whole stuff is just driving me insane. I just needed a break. So I put on my audio book today and I, I listened to my audio book. I turned off all those that new stuff that I've been listening to for the last week. That has been driving me insane. It's like I've been driving around for a year. <laughs> Listen to all that crap. So anyways, I just thought I'd pop on here because I can't find nothing on the Smule app to sing. So anyways, uh, look, let me tell you. Why is it wrong for those barbarians that call themselves Black Lives Matter and those Antifas or whatever the hell they're called uh, and all those other people out there, why is it wrong for them to destroy property? Why is it wrong for them to burn up buildings? Why is it wrong for them to destroy people's businesses? Why is it wrong for them to overturn cop cars? Why is it wrong for them to smash out windows? Because it doesn't belong to them. That's why it's wrong. Oh, well, it can be replaced. No, it can't be replaced. Not in this time it can't be replaced. And it can't be replaced because people put their heart and their soul in those things people who spend all their life all their working and conscious life building up a business so that they can make a decent living for their family and some wicked lawless heathen go and destroy it and you think that's okay because oh well it can be replaced no you are they are lawbreakers and they should get judged by the law it's not oh well you're a Christian and you're saying that they should be judged by the law yes I'm saying they should be judged by the law because if you're a child of God you're going to be led by the spirit and the spirit is not going to lead you to loot the spirit is not going to lead you to burn up buildings. The spirit is not going to lead you to beat up old women. Trying to defend their livelihood. The Ten Commandments, which everybody hates, you can sum them up in two sentences. Two. Love your, love your Lord thy God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind and all your strength, and love your neighbor as yourself. Or, do unto others as you would have them do unto you. That is the basis of the ten utterances which come from the 618 plus commandments. The commandments, the statutes, and the ordinances of God you want to know how easy it is to obey the commandments of God be mindful of yourself think of the things that you would want to happen to you would you want someone breaking into your house would you want someone burning up your stuff would you want someone beating you up for trying to defend your business? Would you want someone to steal your companion? If you can say no to all those questions, that's how you know that what those barbarians are doing is wrong. Because you wouldn't want them doing it to you. That's how you know it's wrong. That's how you know they're breaking the commandments of God. The commandments of God are not grievous to someone that's got a heart that's after God. Someone who has a heart that's pure towards God. Someone who loves God and loves their neighbor as themselves. The commandments of God are not grievous. Now we're going to always miss the mark. We're going to always have sin that we have to deal with. 
we're going to always have to deal with our flesh. But to keep the commandments of God is to love your neighbor as yourself and to love God with all your heart, all your soul, and all your might. And if you do those things, you will not run around in the street like a barbarian and destroying things. It doesn't matter if it's a material thing. You're not supposed to be wanting other people's things. Coveting this and being envious of that. Being discontented with the other. Stop. Be content with what you got. And be thankful. All this. It's because of discontentment and ungratefulness. All of it. And T4, whatever the fuck it's called. Black Lives Matter, all that stuff. Oh, well, you used the F word. I did because I'm frustrated. I'm frustrated with you people. Y'all get on my nerves. Oh, well, they're so, they're, they're so, uh, uh, they got so much rage. No, they don't. No, they don't. They're just evil and wicked. They're lawless. And they're going to be judged by the law. They're going to be judged by the law. And all of you people who egg them on and support them in their lawlessness and their wickedness, you're going to be judged too. And when you finally get your uncontrollable government, your socialist Marxist government, you're going to get exactly what you deserve. And I'm going to laugh about it. If I'm still here. Hopefully I'll be raptured. You know Jesus is coming back soon. He's coming back for a church. Without spot and without blemish. And all that means is that he's coming back for a church. That has a pure heart. The people who have a pure heart towards God. God's going to come back for us. Jesus is going to come back for us and we're going home and you guys can, can have this wicked world and your socialist government your one world order you can have all that your cashless system your chips and dips all that stuff you can have it and you'll have to deal with it and when I'm gone up in the clouds with the Lord and my brothers and sisters in Christ if I can look down and laugh at you, I will. Because you guys are the ones that didn't make God your high tower. You're the ones that didn't trust in Jesus Christ. You're the ones that wanted to trust in man and government to change your situation by stealing from people who work hard. By destroying people's property. By killing the country. By selling her out and making her a harlot. Yeah, you made America a harlot. I, like I said, I've said it before. I didn't vote for Trump. But I knew Trump was going to win. Because God chose Trump. And at the time, I didn't understand why God chose Trump. Because I never watched his news press conferences. I never listened to the man. I just thought he was funny. He's amusing to me. But then again, he is a Gemini. So, I mean, you know. Of course, he's going to be amusing. Geminis are class clowns. They're goofy. You know, so I didn't really watch his stuff because I didn't really, I didn't know. I, I didn't, I didn't, I was indifferent. I didn't care because I already knew God chose him. See, if you're a child of God, God reveals things to you. If you're a servant of God, he reveals things to you. Right? So I already knew that Donald Trump was going to be the president. And I, I should have been following it back then, but I didn't. But now that I am following it, I understand why he's the president. This was the last hurrah before everything happens and Jesus comes down and, we, and, and, and takes us away. Before all this stuff happens in, in America. See, Donald Trump knew that America was being pimped out like a whore. All the presidents before him let her be used like a whore like she was a, a dirty prostitute and Trump came in and he swept it out oh well he did this and did you see the pictures of that and yes I did I saw all of that 
I saw all of that, but that doesn't change the fact that God put him in office and God had a purpose for him to be in office. And for a little bit of time while he was in the presidency, God has called his people and raised his people up. Do I mean, I know you people can see it. People on your all of a sudden you got a bunch of Christians on your Facebook list and you didn't even know they were Christians. You think they're crazy now. <laughs> you didn't understand that God has people that he's calling out of the darkness. He's calling out of their Christian closet. And he's calling his people to either go home with him or be prepared to have to remain here and be martyred. Oh, well, that's crazy. Yep, it sure is. But if it's not true, then what do I have to lose? But to have joy and peace in believing in Christ Jesus. But if it is true, you got a lot to lose. So I'm just going to be thankful, whether it's true or not, I'm going to be thankful that I have peace and joy in my delusion, if it's a delusion. But with you, if it's not a delusion, you're going to perish. And it's going to be exactly what you deserve. Because you didn't make the Lord God your high tower. You didn't make Jesus your king. You were too busy looking for the government to steal things from everyone. I know I said that already. But I can't stress it enough. Socialism, communism, Marxism, it's all demonic. All covetousness. All envy. All jealousy. Because you want something that you don't have. You want something that belongs to somebody else. That's evil. That's evil. So when you get that government and you got a garden in your house and they start going to your garden and destroying your property, if I'm still stuck here because I didn't make the mark and I got to stay here and martyr myself while I'm in my misery and my joy because I'm going to triumph in persecution. But during my persecution, I'm going to laugh at you for making them your God and not God your God. Because that's exactly what you're going to deserve. Okay.